Five people have died and dozens of others were wounded over the weekend after an SUV plowed into a holiday parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Um, now we have details about who the perpetrator is and let me just get this off uh, off my chest before we continue. This was not a terrorist attack, uh, this was not politically motivated, uh, but here's what we do know. Just before 4.40 PM, the driver of a red SUV stormed past barricades and barreled through the crowd, striking dozens. At least five people were killed and more than 40 people were injured and the numbers could change. Now, I do wanna read the names of the victims so far. And again, the numbers could change, the number of fatalities could increase. There are still people in the hospital in critical condition. William Hospital, 81, died. Virginia Sorensen, 79 years old, also died. Leanna Owens is another victim, 71 years old. And we have Tamara Durand, a 62 year old. So those are some of the victims that we know about. And as I mentioned, there are dozens of others who have been injured as a result. Now the suspect is Daryl E. Brooks. The police department is recommending five counts of first degree intentional homicide. And he does have a lengthy rap sheet. So he's been charged with 10 crimes since 1999 alone. The suspect or the suspected driver 39 year old Daryl Brooks is facing five counts of first degree intentional homicide. Police said he was allegedly involved in a domestic dispute moments prior to driving onto the parade route. And court records show again that he has an extensive rap sheet dating back to 1999. And look, we have video of it. We've been pretty careful in choosing video that isn't too gruesome, but I still want to give you a graphic warning before we toss to what that scene looked like. Let's watch. There are other videos online that are far more gruesome, but it you know it gives you a sense of what we showed you gives you a sense of what the scene kind of looked like. And by the way, Brooks has been charged three times in less than two years with recklessly endangering the safety of others. Most recently, in an incident in which he accused he was is accused of running a woman over with his vehicle in Milwaukee. So um, we showed you that video. Uh, Partly because I uh, want to show you a sense of like the how incredibly scary it is. So as I was watching that young girl in the foreground of that video the first time, I was like, no. And so in that case, she was fine, but many others are not. One hospital alone had 18 wounded children, uh, six of them who are, are are in critical condition. Uh, a lot of the people who died were part of the Milwaukee Dancing Grannies. And they come out and try to, you know, give joy in the Christmas season. They help the needy. They were wonderful, wonderful human beings who everybody in the community loved. So, what went wrong here? In this case, it is not at all political. It appears. Okay. So, unfortunately, these days, whenever there's a mass killing of some sort, that everybody asks the same questions. In the old days, it used to be, are they Muslim? I guess people still ask that. Uh, but now mainly is it right wing terrorists uh, and or is it just a crazy person? And in this case, it's a bad guy uh, and he's uh, these that rap sheet, you I've read all the details of it. It is, Horrific. it's a nightmare, it's yeah. a nightmare. And so the one political question that comes out of this is, how could this guy be out in the street? Yeah, exactly, exactly. No, there's a lot of stuff happening in the country right now in regard to crime that I don't understand. In New York, a man pleaded guilty to raping four women and he was given no jail time. He's only been given eight years of probation. I don't understand it. Listen, when we talk about criminal justice reform, we're not talking about letting dangerous people just walk the streets willy nilly. Okay, prison is first of all, yes, supposed to take people who are a risk to public safety out of the public 
to rehabilitate them. Yes, there's a punitive angle, but they're supposed to be rehabilitated. Obviously, our justice system doesn't do it. But when we talk about reforming the criminal justice system, we're talking about nonviolent offenders, people with drug possession. There's stuff happening in the country that I just do not understand right now in regard to the rising crime rate and the reaction and response to it. But with that said, Jenk, you mentioned, look, people are asking questions as, as we're trying to find details about what the motive was here, what motivated this guy. But look, if you are a public figure, if you're on a news channel, for instance, it's the responsible thing to do to just kind of like wait it out and see what the details are. But that's not what Fox did. In fact, Fox brought on Nigel Farage, okay, who's not, in a, not even an American citizen, he's the architect of Brexit, to come on and fear monger about immigrants. So I wanna go to that video real quick and then we'll discuss. I don't wanna make connections where they might not yet exist, but here's one thing we can observe very objectively. These kind of mass gatherings become vulnerable targets for those who wish to do ill, and you've seen that already in Europe, Nigel. Yes, of course. You know, we had the the truck bombings of Christmas markets. You know, when large numbers of families were gathered together, having a nice evening out. You're right. The bigger the crowd, in a sense, the easier the target they are. Now, we had a failed terrorist attempt that took place here on Sunday, the 14th of November. Somebody strapped to a suicide bomb vest um, and it went off. And I think this matters, perhaps particularly in America, because of what's happening at your southern border. This individual had illegally come into the UK, applied for refugee status, been refused and yet not been deported. Uh, and he had pretended to embrace Christianity, but in fact, he was a radical Islamist terrorist. This has nothing to do with what happened in Wisconsin over the weekend. Nothing to do. Has nothing to do with immigration. It had nothing to do with radical Islamists. It had nothing to do with anything political. But they couldn't wait. They couldn't wait to immediately to get Nigel Farage on to come in and talk about radical Muslims. Yeah. Even though, again, this had nothing to do with religion or politics or anything like that. So, uh, Anytime a Fox News host starts with, I don't want to, but I guarantee they're going to do what they said they don't want to do, quote, don't want to exactly. do. Exactly. Uh, second of all, get a load of the irony of them bringing on an immigrant to blame immigrants. Uh, oh, I forgot, he's a white immigrant, so it's totally okay. That's not who we're demagoguing against, okay? So, uh, and of course, as Anna pointed out, not only is this person not an immigrant or Muslim or any of those things, um, he seems to be someone from the neighborhood who's done a lot of crimes in the neighborhood, including his shooting his, uh, it appears, uh, shooting his girlfriend in the stomach. Uh, it includes uh, getting into an argument with another woman in a, in a parking lot of a gas station and then punching her in the face and then running her over with his car and yet he's still on the street. And and so they even reduced his bail at, at one point, I think, to $1,000 and that's how he got out. Exactly, yeah. So, Criminal justice reform is about, hey, cops shouldn't shoot unarmed black guys. And there should be accountability when there's abuse on the part of the police. And there should be fixes to things like private prisons, because it gives an incentive to arrest as many people as possible, whether they did it or they didn't, so they can make money off of taking away our freedoms. And also, it has nothing to do yeah. with let go of super dangerous criminals for no goddamn reason after they abuse First of all, abuse and assault so many, but including women, uh, random women and their girlfriends and commit domestic violence. And then you let them r literally run through the streets like this? No, that's insanity. He sh it's not about this guy being poor, middle class or anything like that in, when it comes to bond. In this case, it was a very dangerous set of crimes that he was accused of. He had no business being outside. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.